In the video today, I'm going over some helpful tips on how to install a memory card and how to change your settings to adapt to the memory card on the Galaxy A14. Let's get into it. Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. Today I wanna to show you how to install that memory card in your phone and also show you some really important tweaks you'll wanna make in setting up your memory card so you can make sure you're backing up all your files properly and you have a great experience. So, let's jump right in. First things first, if you still have the box of your phone, you will find this little tool. It's called the SIM tool. This will help you take out the SIM tray in order for you to put the memory card in the phone. Um, if you have the box, grab that, look for this little tool. If you already threw the box away, darn, don't do that. Next time, make sure you grab your SIM tool before you throw the box away. Um, find a paper clip and bend it back. You can also use that as well to take out your SIM card tray. So, so it will be on the upper left side of the phone. We're going to insert the tool and just give it a push to pop out the tray. Here's our tray. I'm gonna pop in this memory card here. This is a Samsung memory card. And we're gonna just pop it right back in the phone, just like this. Now, some important disclaimers. Um, make sure you use a quality memory card. Um, be very careful with what memory card you use. Um, I will have a link right here of some memory card recommendations. Guys, please hear me out on this. You don't wanna go cheap on your memory card because cheap memory cards don't tend to last and a lot of people will back up all their files and you know what? They'll open their phone one day and it'll say memory card not working and sometimes the memory card will just crap out on you and you'll lose all your files. So make sure you purchase a quality brand, Samsung, SanDisk, PNY, those are some of the biggest brands you'll wanna focus on and you'll find a couple of those in that playlist right there, okay? Or in that link. Now, once the memory card is installed, we're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. Your phone is going to tell you that the memory card is installed. You should see when you swipe down from the top of the screen, you'll see a pop-up that says SD card inserted and there's a little drop down arrow here. You can tap on the open button to go right to the section to see if anything is on the memory card right now. I'm gonna tap allow, and it's gonna just show us here um, if there's any files currently on the memory card, and this one um, was from another phone, so there might be a couple of the files, so no problem there. Let's hit our home button. So once we verify that the memory card is in and the phone is reading it, the next step is we wanna go to our camera and we wanna do this. So once you put the card in, you're gonna get a pop-up that's gonna say, hey, you just inserted an SD card. Do you wanna change your settings so every picture you take automatically is saved to the memory card? You wanna say change. So now all your pictures and video will back up to the memory card first and wait for that to fill up and then they will start backing up on your internal storage. So this is just, an automatic pop-up that you'll get. You wanna make sure you make that change. So now your memory card is saving all those files and it frees up your internal storage. Okay, next, if we hit the home button here and we go to our gallery, so we're gonna swipe up, tap on the gallery. Right now, go to albums and you'll have a camera folder and you'll have a recent folder. So here we have a couple of folders. The main thing I want you to focus on is in the uh, left corner of the, each folder, if you see this little white memory card icon, it's basically showing you these are pictures that are being saved to the memory card. And now if I go to the camera and I just take a couple of pictures, I can verify and actually make sure they're being saved to the right place. Let me take a video real quick here. Just tap on video. We're gonna record a couple of seconds here. Hit stop, hit our home button, and let's go to our gallery. And you'll notice all the new pictures that we just took are gonna be in our camera folder, and they're all right there. 
So it's always good to just check to make sure that those pictures are all going to the right place. And this shows they're going to our new camera folder that is um, all backing up to the SD card. So that's perfect. So now that we've done that, the next thing I want you to do, go home. We're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen. In the upper right corner, tap on the settings wheel. I wanna show you how to back up all your files to your memory card. To do this, you'll want to swipe, let's see, we're already at the bottom of the settings. Let's start from the top and let's go down. We wanna go to accounts and backup. From here, we're gonna go to bring data from old device and you'll understand why in a second. When you tap on that menu option, it will take you to the Samsung Smart Switch app that you'll want to hit allow and in the Samsung Smart Switch app, it'll allow you to back up all of your phone files to your micro SD card. So just simply tapping on this button in the upper right corner, the memory card icon, you can say, hey, back up my data to my SD card. And it'll do a quick read of what's on your phone. You can hit everything or you can hit custom and only back up certain things. And when you're done, hit next. Press OK, skip, and just that easy, it's backing up all my files to the micro SD card. Now, why do you want to do this and how often should you do this is the question. So I would recommend you do this every couple of months because here's what you want to think about. If you drop your phone and you crack the screen, um, there's a chance that it's going to get a lot harder to move your files off of the phone. That's one thing. The second thing is, what if your phone totally blanks out, it stops turning on altogether, at least you have backed up all your files to your micro SD card. You can simply take it out of this phone, you can purchase the same exact phone or a different Samsung phone, plug in that memory card, and guess what? All your files are backed up to the memory card. You can simply now transfer those files from the memory card to your new phone. So this is a good practice that's gonna to help to keep all your files backed up in the event of an accident or an emergency. Um, how many of you guys has it happened? You dropped your phone in the toilet or your phone was on a table and someone knocked over a can of soda and it got on your phone and sometimes the phone recovers, sometimes it doesn't, but at least if you've backed up all your data to that memory card, you will have a backup of your files. And you can see this backup was pretty quick. I didn't have a ton on this phone, but I was able to back up all my information. So in case of an emergency, I at least have it backed up right now. So anyway, guys, this has been our video. I do wanna uh, point out one more important thing. Some of you guys might have come to this video because you're trying to move your uh, apps to the memory card. And this phone isn't currently set up to allow you to do that. There are some ways to force it in the uh, in the settings, which I don't totally recommend. Samsung really doesn't want you to store your files on the memory card anymore. They'd rather you store it on the internal storage. So um, I would say stick to this process. Move all your you know pictures and your videos. Make sure all those are backing up to the memory card and keep your internal storage free for your uh, apps and things like that. Hope you guys found this helpful. If it was, hit that like button down below if it was helpful. If you're not a rate subscriber, hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more videos. Take care and as always, have a good one.